Greetings, unsettled souls! We need some good news, don't we? And I don't know what order you've seen the videos in, but man, I've just been covering some of the atrocities going on with dogs being left with these animals in Cabal and Australia killing animals. So that people don't spread COVID to pick them up. How about some good news? I can do some good news. The Jerusalem Post. Palestinians saved Jewish woman attacked with stones near Hebron. What? Replay that. Yes, sir. Palestinians saved Jewish woman attacked with stones near Hebron. Uh, this, can't, this can't be it's a conspiracy site. It's the Jerusalem Post. I don't think the Jews are going to lie about it. Three Palestinians saved a Jewish woman who was hit in the head in a rock-throwing attack near Hebron, probably because she dared to drive a car. It's the kind of animals that did it to her. Three Palestinians... Right, I just said that. The woman, a 36-year-old mother of six was mother of six, was driving in the direction of uh, Kiryat Abba when a group of unidentified men attacked her car and threw stones at her. Because, you know, they're going to be so much nicer to women. I was driving and suddenly I found myself in the opposite lane with strong pains and blood flowing from my head, she told me. Yet I, have, I went back into my lane and it's a miracle there wasn't another car. When I stopped the car, she says, and I was dripping in blood, I tried to see what happened, and that's when I saw a huge rock hit that hit my foot. I started to cry and scream. Those are difficult moments. I tried to call the police. Oops, what I do? I tried to call the police and ambulance, but there wasn't any reception, she said. Pause. For those of you who are against the Second Amendment, why don't we take a look at what happens <clears throat> when people are not able to defend themselves? The survival of the fittest mentality here. Let's ask this woman, if we could, whether or not she thinks a firearm may have been useful in this situation. You shoot one or two of them, it's a miracle how the rest run. Sometimes you don't even have to shoot them. Sometimes you just have to show the gun. Suddenly three Palestinians arrived and tried to help, yeah. Hey, I'm not going to sit here <clears throat> and talk badly about radical Islam and not bring you the other side when I see it. One of them told me he was a doctor and stopped the bleeding in my head, while another tried to call the rescue forces because he had a Palestinian network that had reception in the area. She did not. It went on like this for 10 minutes with me just sitting there and them waiting with me. There's her car. The woman added that it makes no sense that there is no way to call for help in the area. Evidently, MDA showed up and took her to the hospital. It's a miracle that I was saved, she said to me. I almost died and cannot believe it. What are they doing? We're, we're, we're just randomly trying to kill people? Like these idiots we have. We have some idiots in our country. You know, they throw bricks and stuff off of the... Uh, overpasses onto cars underneath. Was it because she was driving a car? All I know is this. Fortunately, fortunately, a well-educated man, as somebody who stuck to the Hippocratic Oath, I'm assuming they have something like that there, he saved her. How many things like this are going on that we don't see? I, I mentioned in one of the other videos that went up today that, um, oh, the simple man, Bill O'Reilly, he said that he didn't think that we were going to see a lot of the torture porn videos from the Taliban and other terrorists there because that demands a response from Biden, which they're not going to want. However, he does think that there's going to be ransoms given. Okay. In the meantime, how many things like this are going on that the cameras don't see? 
How many women like this are butchered all the time? How many people, women for that matter, how many anybody, I don't care what gender they are, how many people like this are facing these kinds of outcomes each and every day? I don't know, but I can tell you this. If we have any reason to put hope into the future, particularly in that region, although I would argue anywhere, if we have any hope, it's in people like this, these Palestinians will save this woman. That's, that is an absolute correct view. Please, friends, leave comments. Let me know if you found this, especially on Opera News. Hit share, hit subscribe.